In previous episodes, when we've been to Rockley to look at the signaling, it's all mechanical. It's a lever that pulls a rod, pulls a wire. Exactly the same here at Medstead, but with a difference. You see, the guys here are going to make all of this work with a flick of a switch. But how? Well, welcome to Medstone 4 Mark Station here at the Watercrest Line. And today's topic, we're looking at this. This is a signal box, which we've seen in previous episodes. Each station has one, and three out of the four are mechanical, meaning the signalman pulls a lever, which moves wires and rodding to make either the points move or the signal arms move to keep the train, well, moving. Now, it's not the most surprising feature, but anything mechanical requires maintenance. Locomotives, it's fine, you just take them out of service, replace it with something else. But with signalling, how do you take a box out of service to work on it and keep the trains moving? Well, that's what we're about to see. Aside from the mechanical side of things, the building department have been doing a smashing job, taking off the cladding, doing some remedial works on the superstructure, putting the cladding back on, giving it a fresh coat of paint, and they'll be doing the same on the inside. Not, of course, forgetting our beautiful windows at the top, which they've done a smashing job on. So, the mechanical side of things. Let's have a look at what's there, and then let's have a look at exactly how they can replace it. Hello, I'm one of the signalmen on this railway, and one of the signal boxes I operate is this one here at Medstead. We have levers that operate points and signals, red signals, black for points, which you've probably seen on, on another film. Every signal box has a diagram, and the diagram up here shows the signalman what he controls. So on here, we've got trains coming from one direction and going the other way. We have the station in the middle. There's the signal box where we are now. We don't have any lamps on there to show where the trains are. This is all done from memory and our experience. So what we're showing you here is what we have now, because this is uh, quite an ancient building and it's due for a major overhaul. So what we're going to do is take all this out, repair it and put it back, but we have to keep the trains running. So what we're going to do is introduce a new signalling system temporarily in a building down there, which we shall see in a minute. So in Medstead signal box, where we are now, this building came by road from Wilton South. It's probably well over a hundred years old. Now our building department have refurbished all of the outside Beautifully done. All the window frames are brand new and um, this eventually will be finished on the inside as well. What we have here is a collection of equipment, mainly telephones, a variety of phones, and there's a token instrument here which we use for signalling the trains. And then finally we have the clock. Well we've seen all the equipment in here. What we're going to do, the lever frame will go for repair all the signalling equipment here, the telephones and the instruments there, are all going to be moved into a porter cabin at the other end of the station, where there's a new panel, which we can go down there and see what we are going to do for the future. So we've seen the mechanical lever frame and the diagram in the old signal box. Now this here is going to replace all of that, so temporarily We've got to keep the trains running so we can control them from here. So to set a train from here to move a set of points, I will turn a black switch. To clear the signals, I will clear one there, another signal there. And all these lights will show what I've actually done. So everything outside is now controlled electrically. So the switches operate relay interlocking, which is in another room, still under construction. And then from there, Everything outside is controlled by electric motors. This is fully interlocked electrically. So what that means is when I turn a switch for a signal to send a train coming in this direction, if I try and turn a switch for a train to come the opposite direction, nothing will happen. It's absolutely safe. If that was a danger, then the first one will let the train come in the platform. Only when it's in the platform can I let the other train come in. When we've commissioned this panel, the only difference will be that all of the old mechanical signals will still be visible, keeping the tradition. And the only one will be the bracket signal, 
that is being replaced by a colour light signal tucked away out round the corner. Some of you may have seen it already as, it, as it's under test. So there you are. Mechanically controlled signals controlled by the flick of a switch. And while it is still a work in progress, there is still a lot in there to see. Granted, for you guys as public, you're probably not going to see much from it, but it certainly is a little bit different. Thank you to you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much to Michael for showing us around, and we shall see you next time.